What's up guys, this is Don the D-Man, and today I'm going to re-watch the trailer for the upcoming thriller called The Shallows. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not doing really uh, too that fond of uh, a lot of shark movies out there, like uh, we've had some bad examples, especially like if you look at Sci-Fi Channel, they've had some bad shark movies, but but for one, for one of that, these uh, shark movies to be in theaters, you know, may, uh, might as well just uh, look into it. Here we go, starting the, the trailer in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Columbia made this. Columbia and Sony made this, huh? Ugly. She's just in the middle of nowhere. She doesn't look like she's that far from shore. The shallows. Oh. So, what kind of shark is this? Oh my god. That thing is freaking huge. What, that's it? Man, that was a short trailer. Okay, well, let's see. So, I, like, I'm guessing that the story is she's trying to dress up in, like, a suit. I don't, I don't think, I don't know if that's scuba gear or, like, a surf kind of a suit, but my, my, she was apparently, like, surfing and uh, is stranded out there so is this gonna be like one of one of those movies where you're just stuck in the middle of nowhere a dire situation only in this case there's a big freaking shark just swimming the circling her and if you could start ahead about the shark that were in this it, you know the way it was depicted in that last uh in the last part of the clip so like i'm thinking is this a great white are we sure that it's a great white and not a megalodon or something oh my god yeah because my see my problem with, with uh, shark movies is that they've been like really overdone you know like they seem to like a lot of them seem to get you know worse and worse like the only the only good perfect one was jaws as we all know and that was like all that was just over 40 years ago and ever since ever since it was released in this, in june 1975 you know everyone was just uh, saw that and was like oh a movie about shark attack uh, sharks attacking people yeah we need to make we can make one of those you know everyone started trying to make their own shark movie to cash in on it and and they just like we're kind of milking it way too much, and they still do with these crazy movies like let's see Sharknado. We all know, we have, I'm sure everybody's heard of Sharknado. We've seen a lot of bad CGI, and also we've seen some bad animatronic sharks like Jaws: The Revenge, for for instance. God, I hate Jaws: The Revenge so much. But there was one recent shark movie that I was pretty fond of uh, called The Reef, where where they they were. Stranded down the Great Barrier Reef, and we're being stalked by a, by a great white. So, but for them to like to not use and to make a good shark movie without using animatronics or CGI, that's actually pretty impressive. So, I do give props to the Reef on that one. And that came out, I think, 2010, if I remember right. And but the shallows, I, I maybe maybe this will be good. I mean, I kind of do like the premise of it, but at the same time, but one thing. You know what I just thought, I thought about the shark because of how big it was, and you see how, like, she's how the rock is not that, that high up out of the water. <laughs> a shark that big, I, I don't see how it wouldn't be able to just just breach out of the water and just <clears throat> like you know, like with that in mind, it's like, if assuming she's been there for hours, like, how did that thing not kill, her, not just jump out of the water and kill her yet? I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I think I might look into this movie. I might go see it. So that's my video, and until next time, this is Don the D Man signing out. Bye.